ジロ聞いて、はいはい。<笑>まあ、重いや。Hello, Fana. How's it going? Welcome to Weird on Monday. Hey, oh my. Hello, mate. Here's an example of what I was talking about the other day. Titiro. Throw out the seed on the path. And what happens? The hay hay comes along and eats it all up. Here's another example、um, regarding our seed story that we had yesterday. Remember the farmer who tossed the seeds out?、Um, some would be on the path, like I just showed you before, and then some would be on the verge, like here. And you watch what happens when I throw out these seeds for the bird. You watch. Look at that. So here we have a pathway at the back. It's part of our mother kite. And if we could take the bark, there's a bit of the、um, like the stony ground. It's going to be shallow. And if you actually see along here, you'll see further down. We've got some grass and some parsley that are growing in the nooks and the, the cracks of the pathway. But the hay hay, see how it's disturbing the ground? Digging in there. Interesting. And then I'll send to our mother. It goes further out into the good soil, where we can get good, good, good vegetables. You know, lots of lessons and parables that Jesus talks about. And a parable of the sower and the seed. We have the pathway. We have those in the rocky territory, and then the soil. That's good. But here, have a look along here. See this chicken here? Just keep, she'll keep, just keep digging around. An example up here, just in near this、um, last summer, right there is, I think it's parsley. And、uh, that's actually growing in the cracks of the path, or it could be like the rocks. She just walked over it. Lovely imagery. We're in our mother here. I see the silver beet starting to take away again. We put some in the back there. Our broccoli. Been an interesting batch for us.、Um, but we're just preparing this again.、Got、some cabbages over the back here. That's where we had the kumara. We got a really good batch of kumara out there.、Um, yeah. So we're going to be replanting these soon. Just preparing it. So I'm going to let the chicken run around in here. On a plate, and then we're going to plant the tamari kid yesterday. <coughs> planted some seeds and or beans, and I'm actually going to plant it in here. I'm going to plant the kids'、uh, beans in here, and the chicken's just been breaking down the soil. It's been awesome. Really been awesome. So、I've got some garlic in this one, but you need good soil. Get some more cabbages in the back. Need good soil. Wonder what that means for us today. 
and this week on our word on Monday does good soil me. Hello Fana, welcome back. It's my little hey hey just digging, cleaning a beak and she's found some snails. Kakaia. <coughs> Nanei taku kai mahi, kai awhina, o te mara, um, ka, ka mahi ia, ia rā, ia rā i te, i te mara, a ka pai pai o i te oni oni. Yeah, awesome, it's a little, my little helper there, my hei hei. Um, yeah, just carrying on our kōrero about um, sorrow and the seed um, and uh, we're picking up the theme uh, from um, NZBMS or the Baptist Missionary Society um, or its trade name Arotahi uh, they uh, they have a series of uh, renewal teachings that we've we're incorporating into our missions month uh, we started uh, last month and we've got AJ coming up uh, this week and um, Carol coming the, the following week to talk to us about returning home. Um, but we're approaching missions from a perspective of thinking of nationally, regionally and global. And so when we talk about, uh, for us here in Kaikwe, that uh, uh, national missions, our thinking, um, <coughs> Aotearoa is our, is our, is our Jerusalem. <coughs> so we, we look at it locally here in Kaikwe and other activities that are going on around nationally that we might um, put a hand to or support. Um, uh, when we look at regionally, um, we think of uh, the South Pacific, Te Moana Nui Akiwa, <coughs> and uh, we've got a brother and uh, father that are ministering over in, in Fiji, and so the church for a long time have, have supported them, and so we, we're looking at ways of encouraging and developing that. And then the global space is where um, Mission NZ, uh, NZ BMS are uh, activities, so uh, we have a, a portion of our, our budget goes towards towards their, their work. Um, so we we think of uh, local, um, regionally, and global um, as our, our spheres of missions, and it's like the Jerusalem, Judea, and out the ends of the earth. This week we've been talking about the um, sow of the seed and we've got some the kids planted the beans and um, uh, you saw earlier that we, we're going to plant those um, once they they grow up but, but I've been thinking about um, the um, this the parable of the sower and the seed that we see in Matthew and uh, well it's actually the farmer and, and you know I showed you a little bit the earlier of the, where the chicken uh, chucks the seed out on the footpath and it just gobbles it up. In other words, the seed is, expo the seed is exposed um, and easily taken by prey. In this case, the chicken. Um, and uh, in our, on the edge of our marakai, uh, we we have a pathway and in, in there as well. Um, it's still exposed and so the um, the birds of the air and, and other things can come and come and grab it and, and eat it and consume it. It reminds me um, of a principle that uh, the Hebrew scriptures um, teach the Hebrew people in regards to gardening and in particular fields um, like wheat. Um, that when, when they would um, sow their seeds or prepare the soil uh, they unlike what we do in a in a western culture we tend to do things in rows and uh, um, spread them out in a way where it's in very defined boxes or squares or pathways or or, or mara um, but uh, there was a principle in scripture um, that the hebrew people used to follow and we're, we're encouraged to follow is that when they when they um, uh, planted their seeds that they would plant all the way up to the edge um, and so if they are planting wheat for example they'll sow not only like an our mother here in the edge they'll go right to the edge 
Um, and inevitably, uh, the seed which Jesus picks up, the theme, is the, the seed would be tossed um, in, the, in the area that's been prepared, in the soil that's been prepared, like the garden, that's, that's, the, that's the full harvest and where they're expecting to get a good harvest from. Um, and then um, uh, to the edges, um, right up to the path where people often walked, and so that ground would be a lot harder. And I saw this in Afghanistan when um, we were on patrol a number of years back, or 12 years back now, um, and you'd see them, that have, that, that's, that's, so they said right up to the edges, of, and you'll see the pathways where the people walk back and forth and all vehicles um, came up. Now, the, the part of the principle of that is the edges were seen to be the social welfare structure for the organisation or for the people of God. Um, is that they would harvest in the field. So the so God wasn't depriving the, the farmer of of the fruits of the harvest, but what He was encouraging them to do is that the edges were their social welfare system. The edges of the garden, the edges of the pathway into where the main mud was, uh, was to be left uh, for those that are left, left um, um, less fortunate in their society. So God gave the, the farmer the okay and the right to harvest uh, the field, but he, he, he gave instructions, don't harvest it all the way out to the edges. Leave the edges um, of your mother. Um, for those who can come along and gather, uh, those who don't have whenua, uh, those who don't have the ability to have a mother, um, and, and allow the fruits that do grow in there, although they will be difficult, and although uh, it may not necessarily be as fruitful as you see in the main mother, but the principle being is that um, you leave the edges. Uh, for those in the society that may walk along and, and are hungry and, and are needing to pick, pick food, and I think I think there is a principle there, uh, not only about the, the types of soil that we have in the garden gardening process. Uh, there's a principle there of uh, the seed is thrown far and wide, um, and it's picked up by different people or things. Um, either by the, the animals as food, um, either planted um, in, in, in soil that may grow for a bit. Um, but there's also a principle about how how do we do things in our lives where we're, we're cognizant of those that are around us that may be on the fringes. Um, yeah, so it's, a, it's another way of looking at that the, the garden or the mother story. Um, are there things that we do in our businesses where there, there is a social con con conscience towards what we do in the, in the, in the ethics of our business? Um, so like the farmer, like those that were producing food, God didn't, um, he, he had no problems with them having a great harvest. He just, he just gave he just reminded them that part of your responsibility part of your growing is you to be mindful of those that are less, less fortunate and in the on the pathways of life like the, the 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 patrol tracks or the walkways that people would come by um, they have the ability to get if they were hungry they could grab food from off, off the edges of the butter off the edges of their fields um, and harvest those for themselves and for their own people uh, for their own farm and households um, and wheat was a big one why? because wheat becomes bread bread of life our daily bread as it says in the Lord's Prayer uh, maybe we need to think about um, how do we if, if, you're in, if you've got an entrepreneurial spirit and uh, 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 one who creates things and uh, has the ability to produce things uh, for people um, and meets a need in our society may be part of your growing that entrepreneurial activity or task or whatever it might be is that you think about the edges think about the edges of what what's la left laid what's left there so that others can pick it up and it becomes a shared resource uh, and, and with the ability for others to participate um, 
as they walk by. Uh, I know of a couple of folk that have got uh, cafes down in Tamaki and um, they have, they've been quite creative in how they go about um, doing um, their types of um, types of mahi. Maybe it's time for us up here and alongside, you know, we, we give a lot away of our, in our marakai side of things. Um, in fact, uh, between the two mara that we, we look after ourselves, uh, we probably give more of that away than we actually do consuming it ourselves, although it's great, we, we do eat it, but, but we give it away to folk. I know Phil does the same thing up the, up the road. Probably 90% of his mara uh, he gives away to the homes around his, his place. Um, so if you see a need in our society, and this is actually where true economics and growth um, happens, um, is if you see a, a problem in our society that you have a solution to, uh, they go, oh, I know, I, I know how I, can, I can fix that problem. Um, and particularly if you're producing something, something that people that want, um, think about your growth and your planning of what that business or what that opportunity or an entrepreneurial activity might be where you've got those kind of three different uh, elements within it. Um, you've got your main uh, kaupapa, you've got the edges and then you've got the pathway and the, and the ability for people to participate um, and um, access resources that God's given you the ability to grow in. Um, Maybe businesses, it might be our farming practices, it may be um, in relationship to if, you're, if you've got cattle or chickens or you think about, okay, I, I might have, let's just take a number, 50 for example, I have 50 this year, this year so I might do three, three that I'll think away, okay, uh, three of those animals I'll, I'll leave to the edges or if we're going to do kumara or piru piru or, or um, different um, mara, uh, kai for our mara. Uh, we think about the, the edges types of things um, and how that might be a resource to resource to others. Um, yes, yeah, so I've been pondering on our corridor that we had yesterday at church and thinking about how we grow um, not only our own lives and the, our own hearts and the grounds of the types of soil that the parable talks about. Uh, think about how we, t we toss out our seeds and, and what God does with that. Um, but also thinking about the principle of sharing the blessings from the resources that God has given us. Uh, as God had instructed um, those who had, who had the, the, the right to land, had the ability to, to, harm, to farm the land uh, that they were to farm the whole lot but leave the edges for those that are less fortunate. So as they walk by on their pathway they're able to pick up and if they're hungry they'll be able to harvest the, the, the fruits that are on the, the, on the edges whether it's wheat or, or whatever like other kind they might be. Maybe there's a principle there that we can think about uh, this week. Uh, and, the, and the process of, of renewing our minds and hearts um, towards the things of the Lord and His Kingdom. Um, what are the things that God has given me, the gifts and talents uh, that He's placed in my life that I could share with others? Um, what's the things in my activities, whether it's if I in a business, that God has given me the ability to share with others? Um, how, how might I do that in my, in my, my business spheres? Um, if, yeah, something to think about this week. Um, anyway, Farno, have a have a great week. Um, may the Lord bless you and keep you, and may His face continue to shine upon you. You've been watching Real White to Kahu and our little hey hey. <laughs> have a great week. Uh, again, do the do the things if you like this. Uh, just click, click the like button and share it around. Um, God bless. Ngamihi atu kia koto e mataki te ana. Uh, ki te kōrero o te mani, uh, tēnei te mihi. Uh, kia ora tātou. Ara mai! Pak pak! Ara mai! Ara mai!
Pak, pak. 